So you wanna get your CCNP in Enterprise, but you're not exactly sure how to get started? Well, let me help you out here. So as you actually take a look at it, the great thing is you no longer have to earn your CCNA to get to a CCNP. So you already have some networking knowledge. If you choose to, you can jump right into a CCNP track and then you're off and ready to go. The CCNP Enterprise is by far the most popular CCNP level certifications out there. That's a Cisco Certified Professional Level exam. And this is probably the one that most people are going to want to uh, jump into. Let's take a look at my screen and let's make sure that we understand the tracks that we see. So if you're actually pursuing this, even though we do have entry level and we do have the associate level, you do not have to begin there. And that's what I was trying to emphasize. If you choose to, you can jump right into the professional level uh, certification if you choose. Now, by doing the professional level certification, there's actually two different exams that you'll have to take. One is a core exam, and then the other one's gonna be some type of concentration exam. So we're gonna be looking specifically at the idea of the CCNP Enterprise, but yes, there are different ones that will also lead to different other CCNPs for you. And then two specialist C C uh, uh, professional level exams that are also out there for you to earn professional level certifications. So on the enterprise track, this is the one that is most um, uh, aligned to the nature of actually doing the networking that you probably did learn in your CCNA and focusing in on really routing and switching and enterprise level routing and switching as well. So when you start to take a look at that one, remember that there's gonna be a core exam. So if I select CCNP Enterprise here, that can take me into well, this view, and you'll see that everybody has to take this Encore exam, and that is for the Enterprise Core technologies that you should be taking a look at. And so this particular exam is something that you want to make sure you get the details behind. And when you select that one, you can actually then see, of course, the different topics that are covered, everything from architecture to virtualization, networking infrastructure, as well as assurance, security, and of course, uh, in the end here, automation, which is still the wave of the future for us. So those are the core technologies that, of course, well, Cisco, as well as the rest of the industry, expects you to have at least the working knowledge of and be conversant in the uh, different topics that we're talking about. Now, I recommend, of course, as you start with this, you want to download a copy of this for your study, so that way you know that you're actually studying the correct topics. Now, once you've picked, and once you actually have selected that, you're going to go through that and do the study that you need to and then register for the exam. We'll talk about the registration in just a moment together, okay? Now, once you do that, here is where you can go into the concentration. For the CCNP Enterprise, there is this 300-410, or sometimes you actually hear it called a NARSI, the Implementing Cisco Enterprise Advanced Routings and Services. This one is a highly technical exam and much more focused in the technologies that we'll be talking about. And what that means is more implementation, a lot more hands-on knowledge that you have to have to be able to sit for this exam as well. So when you actually take both of those and you actually earn both of them, you don't have to take them at the same time. You can take one. And then of course, once you finish studying for that one, you can also come and download the exam topics for this one as well. And you actually see where they focus in on layer two, VPN technologies for Anarsi, as well as infrastructure security and infrastructure services. This one, I'm not gonna lie to you, it is a challenging exam and actually expects you to have a whole lot deeper knowledge into that exam. So you wanna take some time and some energy and make sure you focus in on that. Now, in terms of getting started, well, how do you actually choose to do that? Once you have the exam objectives on hand, you of course will need some type of resources, whether it's actually buying some type of uh, study guide and textbook to help you out, or you can do like what we have here at IT Pro TV, is through IT Pro TV, over on the left-hand side here, we have our courses that you can go to, and then you can of course select the Cisco, which I've got to find here, the Cisco section, and from there, you have all the topics that you'll need. Notice that we have the, inter we have the uh, uh, Enterprise Encore, as well as the one for design, and here's the one for Anarsi. These are courses that Anthony Sequera and I have actually developed to actually help you to get through those topics. But you'll also want to be able to take advantage of things like practice tests that are also out there and available. Still the same categories. And as you come through, you'll see here's Encore, and here's also a Narsi for you as well that you can take advantage of. And of course, there are some virtual labs. Now these labs, 
depending on whether or not our partner has actually lined it up. Well, right now we still have the older, the uh, iteration before, but these should also help you to get some hands-on knowledge as you work through the topics that you actually find inside the CCNP enterprise. So make sure you take advantage of that because the hands-on is actually where you're gonna actually get a lot of the questions, especially in that NRC exam as well. Now, once you feel prepared that you're ready to take the exam, make sure you go to, of course, Pearson View. And in Pearson View, you're going to register for those exams. So you'll need those exam numbers and you'll schedule for an exam as a test taker. And then you actually see ready, set, and test. You'll type in Cisco Systems. And of course, from that point, that will lead you to the vendor page and you'll sign in if you already have a previous account. If you do not, you'll create a new account. And once you do that, you'll need, of course, the exam name that you're actually taking as well as the exam number. And you'll go through there and you'll register for each one. And you're actually still doing this as far as the, at the time of the recording of this video, uh, you may still be able to take this from home. But as, of course, as time progresses, you may actually end up taking it at a test taking center as well. And so you'll end up paying for those exams too. So you'll register for that at your particular time. You'll also, of course, have to pay for those exams. And then you'll be ready to continue to move forward as you actually succeed and pass those exams. And once you actually pass the Encore as well as the NRC exam, that will earn you the CCNP Enterprise. Now, that is not the end for you if you actually choose to, of course. There is an expert level certification, but at least in getting started in the CCNP Enterprise, those are kind of the steps that will actually help you out. And we actually showed you some of the resources that you can do as well right here at IT Pro TV. So take advantage of them, and we'll see you in the future.